Is there someone you like at the moment? When you're attracted to somebody, you may spend half of your time fantasizing about them and the other half wondering if they like you back. And if the idea of asking them directly sounds too overwhelming and stressful, you could try to look for subtle or sometimes not so subtle clues, such as verbal or nonverbal communication to find your answer. Here are five of the common signs you could look out for. Number one, you can't look away from each other. Do you always catch yourself locking eyes with them? Perhaps you tend to look at each other from across the room or steal small, shy glances when you're next to each other. The effects of mutual eye contact on feelings of romantic love have been studied for a long time now. A classic study going as far as 1989 found that staring into someone's eyes can increase your feelings towards them. The participants in that experiment were randomly paired with strangers and tasked to gaze into each other's eyes for some time. After filling a survey, they found that the couples who participated in mutual eye contact reported feelings of affection and liking. So it's a good sign if you and your crush can't seem to take your eyes off each other. Number two, you find excuses to touch. There's nothing better than accidentally touching the hand of someone you secretly like. Your fingers meet for a moment and all you can think about is how it would feel to actually hold their hand. Well, when the attraction is mutual, you may notice that you aren't the only one trying to sneak in some skin to skin contact. Whether it's casually putting their hand on your shoulder or walking so close to you that your elbows touch, finding chances to be close to each other is a good sign that they like you too. Number three, you're texting nonstop. Imagine this, it's late at night, you're laying in your bed ready to sleep, but you started a conversation with your crush hours ago and you just can't make yourself go to sleep while they're on the other side of the screen texting you. At this point, it's clear you like them, but you can take it as a sign that they like you just as much too. Why else would they stay up talking to you? And if you find that the conversation doesn't end after you fall asleep, that they text you the next morning with a good morning or send you a funny meme they saw and hoped you'd like, then it's clear that you can't get enough of each other and that you're both just finding creative excuses to keep in touch all the time. Number four, you shower each other with compliments. Does your crush have something nice to say about you almost every time you meet them? And do you tend to take that opportunity to compliment them back without sounding pushy? Giving compliments doesn't automatically mean that you like that person. Oftentimes, you may compliment others just to be nice and polite, but flirtatious complimenting is completely different from that. This comes from the heart, and it happens much more often than just being nice. On top of that, when two people like each other, they also tend to get more deep and creative with their compliments. For example, while nice shirt is not a bad compliment, it can't beat someone saying, you're such a wonderful person, or I really like hanging out with you because you're so fun. So if you find that you both tend to give each other endless compliments, then there's definitely some chemistry between you. And number five, people around you tease you. When it comes to having a crush, you may sometimes think that you're doing really well at hiding your feelings, but more times than not, it's pretty obvious to the people around you that there are some sparks going on. They might notice you glancing at each other, blushing, or acting a little bit nervous when you're together. And when they notice, they might start teasing you, in a good way, of course, by saying things like, you're such a cute couple, or are you gonna admit you're together? While you may tell them that they're out of their minds, secretly, you're hoping the same thing. Do some of these signs describe your relationship with the person you like? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.